name is Gabby Maldonado and today I'm going to be talking about the basics of tattoos including culture as well as the pros and the cons that come with getting one done. I want to ask a question to everyone. How many of you have or would want a tattoo or know somebody who does? Chances are a majority of us do. Tattoos have become more common over the years. Now whether they are fully acceptable is a matter of opinion. According to Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary, a tattoo is defined as a mark, figure, design, or word intentionally fixed or placed on the skin. A tattoo is permanent mark or design placed into the skin. It is seen as a form of art and expression in society. What was seen as a rebellious act and portrayed as something only gangs get is no longer that. Many types of people such as doctors, police, soldiers, nurses, they get tattoos. I personally have four tattoos and am planning to get more in the future. I have three on my forearm and one on my thigh. But today I am here to inform you on what I believe you should know about tattoos coming from somebody who is semi-tattooed and the pros and the cons that come with getting one done. The first topic I'd like to cover is how deep tattoos go. And the answer is we have three layers of skin. The epidermis, which is the top visible skin that we can see, the dermis, which is the second layer of skin under that, and the hypodermis, which is the third layer of skin under that. Tattoos only go down to the dermis because that's where they can stay permanent. If it was only on the top layer of skin that we can see, the tattoo would eventually fade. It wouldn't be permanent. And if it was on the hypodermis, the tattoo would cause some serious injury to you because it is ink being inserted into your skin and you shouldn't have ink in your blood. Of course, hygiene and the cleanliness of the shop factors into all of that. According to Polly Sparling, author of Think Before You Ink, just one scratch with an infected needle can transmit serious bloodborne diseases, including hepatitis B or tetanus. Other factors such as how your skin takes in the ink and how well you take care of it are also important factors to look into, and most tattoo artists are willing and should give you more information to make you feel more comfortable and answer all those types of questions. Now, when it comes to the culture aspect of tattoos, there is countless styles out there. Whether they were tattooed on for signs of honor, respect, or accomplishments, tattoos have been a universal language for hundreds of years, all with their own unique history behind them. For example, I am Hispanic and my ancestors came from the Aztecs and they decorated themselves with intricate pattern tattoos to symbolize their love and respect and pride for the heritage that they came from. Besides culture, there are many pros and cons that come with tattoos. The pros of getting a tattoo is you gain a sense of self-love and confidence. Of course, a tattoo will not automatically cure your mental health or problems, just like that, but it can give a person more pride and can even boost some self-esteem issues that might be lacking. Despite the positives of a tattoo, there are some cons with getting one done. The very obvious con of a tattoo is that it will get infected if not cleaned or if you don't take care of it properly or if the tattoo artist doesn't follow health guidelines. Some others include discrimination, judgment, certain religions don't approve of tattooed people, certain jobs and professional careers don't allow tattoos to be shown. Even family can very much disapprove of them. Being raised in a strict Mexican household, my mom very much disapproved the idea of me getting a tattoo because I'm a girl and it doesn't look right in their eyes when a girl is tattooed. But against her wishes, I went to get one because all my tattoos are memorable to me and allow me to express myself since I never got the chance to. A tattoo is a permanent mark or design placed onto the skin. It's a form of art and a way for people to express themselves. The culture behind tattoos is filled with beautiful and extravagant pieces of art all symbolizing their own unique history. With everything, there is its benefits as well as its disadvantages, but it's important that one should do research beforehand and weigh those options out before making any decision. It is important to note that tattoos aren't just for gangs or rebellious and sinful people that are going straight to hell. We all have feelings, we are all people, and that is something I want everyone to walk away with.